So today I'm in Whitley Bay, which is near Newcastle in the northeast of England, and I'm on the beach at the moment, walking like I'm in a Coldplay video. And uh, yeah, we just thought we'd get on a train, get on a metro, and just explore the area. And we decided to come here. I've only been here once before, and that was to see Metallica back in the early 90s. So this is my second time here, so I don't really know much about the area, but I'm going to explore and find out. In the distance there, I don't know if you can see it, I'll put a little picture on, that's St Mary's Island, and um, I'll put a description of what that place is. I think it might be a lighthouse, um, but I don't know if you can actually get to it, because it doesn't look like there's a path, you might have to get a boat to it. But there's another place called Spanish City, in the sort of the town centre area, which looks very impressive, and I'll put that in the video as well, so you can see, but it's just um, a little short video, just to have a bit of a walk around and explore the area. So if you want to join me, as always, get your shoes on, get your coat on, get your sun cream on, and uh, oh, make sure you don't walk in the sea like I've just done. Anyway, see you in a bit.
So in the distance there, you can see St. Mary's Island. It was originally called Bates Island, Hartley Bates, or even Bates Hill, as it originally was owned by the Bates family. It was actually also known as Bait Island um, because basically people didn't understand the pronunciation of the surname and thought it was bait as in sort of fishing bait. Um, but it was a main feature of the island was a lighthouse which was built in 1898. But in the medieval time, the island was dedicated to St. Helen. Within the chapel was the Lady Light, also known as St. Catherine's Light. Um, but later it was wrongly ascribed and it was to St Mary, so then it was renamed St Mary's Island. But in the 19th century, there was actually an inn over there known as the Square and Compass. Um, but I think um, around about 1984, um, it, the lighthouse um, wasn't used anymore and it just turned into a visitor centre. So you can actually go over there and visit it by climbing the, lamp, the, the steps even uh, to the lantern room and seeing the visitor centre on the top. So the lighthouse continued to function until 1984 when it was taken out of service. The lighthouse is now open to visitors who can climb the steps to the lantern room, which is at the top, if they wish, and uh, also see the visitor's centre. But as you can see, um, I don't know how you would get up to it because there's a massive gap between the land and the actual lighthouse area itself. Um, so I don't know if low tide you have to go to it or whether there's a boat that takes you over there, but it'd be really interesting to go and see it. So that was just a little wander around Whitley Bay. Hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously there's the Spanish city, there's St Mary's Lighthouse and the memorial that we've seen. And uh, we had a little cheeky ice cream on the way around as well. Uh, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. It was just something short and something to just uh, pop on my channel for you to see. So um, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and uh, comment. And let us know if you've been here at any point in time. Uh, let us know if you went to the Metallica gig back in the early 90s. And um, yeah, subscribe. I've got more videos coming along the way. And um, as always, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I've just walked in the sea again.